it was basically, you know, confessing of just like how it is, how tough it is for us moms, moms to try to juggle everything. And sometimes we try to do it all on our own. And even though I obviously have girls and my kids are helpful, it's just still a struggle to get this house clean every single day. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back for another video. As you can see, we're eating breakfast right now and the house is depleted. We literally have no food in our house right now. Um, hubby has gone to work and he took my vehicle because his vehicle broke down. I just wanna put this out there. We just fixed his vehicle like last week and it was like $500. Why on earth do we need to fix it again? I'm a little, you know, <laughs> I'm just a little annoyed. But anyways, he took our vehicle, he took the van, he took, we haven't even named a van yet. We said we we're gonna name it. Sylvia. We should have like a name reveal mm -hmm. for our baby, <laughs> which is our new van. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how people be twisting up these titles on YouTube for views. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of workout in. Michaela watched the baby for me this morning, so I was able to lift them bars. I lift all of like 27 pounds. I think that bar is like 27 pounds. She lifted it five times. <laughs> That's no lie. That's a lie. I actually did like um, two. Okay, I did okay, 15. Did. I was watching. 15 you. reps. Time, no, are the reps. 15 sets. Time, three reps. I don't know gym lingo. I need to get on top of it. But anyways, that's what we did. I'm planning on going for a walk once these kids get settled down with their schoolwork. We... Just need to get the ball rolling. As for my hair, you guys see like it's still in like a giant poof or whatever. I just haven't had the time to do a twist up, a formal twist out in the nights because I've been doing really good in posting a video. I just posted a video by the way. I'm gonna link it in the vid in the description box of like a make the makeup look that I did so you guys can see how I did it from beginning to end. And guys, I did it with Zoe in one arm. So you guys should definitely check out that video to show your girl support. It's in the description box below and it is a uh, just like a fall makeup look. I'm gonna go eat my delicious breakfast, my keto style breakfast. Actually, no, it's not keto because it has no meat and no fats. And apparently what, keto is what, fat and greens or something like that? This is, like I, if it was keto, I wouldn't be able to eat this banana right now. So anyways, getting on with the day. See you on the flip side. <laughs> Girls, what well, do you think you should be doing your work? Both you, you didn't plug your tablets in last night? Uh, no, I did. So it's yours is charged. You should be sitting at the table so you don't hurt your back. Okay? I'm waiting at 39%. 39? Yeah. Is it charging while you're working right now? Uh, I don't really know. Okay, well, just don't want to hurt your back. Okay, now let's take a break. I mean, it more so just stays at the same, like, charging. At the same port, right? Yeah, at the same port. It's okay, but we're just going to be using it in minutes. This is happening. Okay, so make sure you guys do what you're supposed to, please. Michaela's over there working. She's about to do her work. So I'm about to go for a quick walk because I've been been getting back into the habit of working out and just doing simple things at home but I need to do cardio cardio is what I'm lacking so I'm gonna go for a quick walk now I'm gonna head out baby girl is sleeping Michaela already she already set up my stroller outside and this is the thing that I generally need but Aaron's since he took my vehicle to work every single day he took my stroller so I made sure last night to tell him please leave my stroller out so I can go for a walk so that's what I'm gonna do We'll see if I vlog along the way. That's what's up. I need to come back and then get a vlog up for you guys. Edit and also want to have the house vacuumed, but it's I don't I can't do that. Even if I stayed at home right now, I wouldn't be able to do that because Zoe is sleeping and it would wake her up. So that's what I'm gonna do. And um, yeah, just get my house a little bit together. It's a struggle trying to keep it clean. Just saw in our family nest. Um, Candy was talking about just struggles of um, it was basically you know confessing of just like how it is. How tough it is for us moms, 
moms to try to juggle everything and sometimes we try to do it all on our own and even though I obviously have girls and my kids are helpful it's just still a struggle to get this house clean every single day like you come home and come in and the shoe area I mean okay that's probably clean to some people but the shoe area and things that need to go away and then our library bin is just sitting there and this table so just like basic stuff it's just real life um yeah real life stuff real life matter and it's not easy trying to do it all all the time i do take a you know a break and just try to breathe and reflect and just do the best i can as i'm doing it but it's tough so anyways i'm just gonna stop rambling i'm gonna head out and i'm gonna go for a quick walk with the baby because she's sleeping right now I think it's also a little bit cooler out there, so I'm going to bring a blanket for her. Kayla, can you lock the door for me? Well, I'm fine, baby. I forgot my apple. Can you hold on? The sun is out, so I've got Zoe in underneath her stroller here she's under this canopy this self-made canopy i think it's doing its job you okay are you okay <laughs> she doesn't look too thrilled she's tired it's a nice day out it's not too um it's not too hot and it's not too cold clearly i'm wearing like this little what do you call it sweater type thing athletic wear and I think it's perfect. It's one of those blazer things that I got at Costco, y'all. It's got little pockets and everything. Yeah. Anyways, the girls are getting their work done and I'm out for a quick walk. I figure I might as well take advantage of this and come out and do it because it's fall, y'all. Um, we don't have that much time left before winter's here. Then I can start using the treadmill. But as for now, I'm just gonna do what I didn't do in the summer. I did do a little bit of work on the summer, but it wasn't anything extensive. So now that I'm starting to get my booty back into shape, I'm gonna take what I can get and do what I gotta do. If you guys are on a mission to get active and fit, don't stay, don't get discouraged. Whatever you do, don't get discouraged because honestly, it's easy to, especially after I had baby girl and I lost all of my pregnancy weight and then to think I gained back nearly 10 of it at one point. Now it's down to five. And though I've been working out the past two weeks, it hasn't been anything major. It's just doing basic things 10 minutes at a time, but I've noticed my body just tightening up and I've been, my clothes has been fitting better. And honestly, I only weighed myself once in that time frame, and it was just yesterday. And the scales that I didn't lose any weight, but I don't really care about the number because I know what it's doing and I know how I look. And that was the biggest difference for me. So I'm now super motivated. That's all we need to see sometimes is to just see the number, just to see um, what our body is capable of. So that's why I'm out here staying motivated and active and um, yeah, just continuing on the path that I've already started. Guys, I am back home and keeping myself hydrated. I am so tired, hot. I just wiped my face. I was sweating a whole bunch and I only walked for about 35 minutes tops. I was trying to make it longer, but honestly, it's so hot outside and I hate you. The thing is, I do prefer to go walking in the morning when before the sun gets out but it's just so hard because the baby's typically awake during that time and I want to get the kids um, fixed up with their school ahead of time and just doing our chores and just those basic things so it's always hard to get out before the sun gets out but pretty happy that I got to go out nonetheless baby girl's still back there sleeping in her stroller so I'm gonna take the time to go make myself some lunch I'm gonna have eggs with toast and For those of you who are wondering how the water is going, 
this is where I'm at for today. And I'm pretty pumped about it because quite frankly, some days I find myself being like right there at like four o'clock and now it's one. So I have potential to be done this bottle today. Rockstar, Rockstar. <laughs> I'm a rock star, yeah. Do rock star, woo! She's like, okay, mom. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I see you. I see you. You're trying so hard to not laugh. Is this a try not to laugh challenge? Is this a baby try not to laugh challenge? I'm gonna get you. That's a butterfly. Do you see the butterfly? Ooh, he's flying. <laughs> I love tickling her when she's trying so hard not to laugh. Oh my gosh, guys. I wiped my face so many times, but this is the result of walking for half hours. So if you guys did not get out today, you should try to. You should try to get out and get your body moving because we're recommended. What is the amount that you said we're recommended to do each day, Michaela? 150, no, 150 minutes per week. 150 minutes per week? Did you do the math? How much does that equate to a day? So, like, I knew it was like half hour. They recommend half hour to 45 minutes of working out each day. But she's doing it for PE, for physical education. She's learning a ton. Even though I explained this all to her, she's acting like she's some little expert now. She's telling me, this is how much is recommended for blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, girl, I told you this already. But, you know, you know how kids are. They get all frightened when they learn something else from someone or through something. As opposed to when mom and dad tells them. Mr. Chimp, where did you go? He can't play the piano. She sees the camera, huh? She's like, oh. <laughs> Don't eat him. He's got a magnet. I'm so nervous with her and the magnet. And chewing it up. You guys. So I basically am turning this into a day in the life video because this is honestly just like a random day in the life where the kids are doing their schoolwork. I'm trying to bust my booty off to get a workout in, and I'm just trying to stay afloat, get the basic things done, clean up, straighten up, take care of the baby, take care of the house, trying to work out. And also trying to upload and edit a vlog for you guys. She's getting a piano lesson with her sister, by the way. You guys remember back in the day when kids were like eating magnets? I remember hearing on the news when a few, a few babies were eating magnets. I don't know where they got them or what they were from, but... Okay, go on, Mr. Monkey. Stay there. <laughs> but kids were eating magnets and it was really, really bad because it was like... I don't know what it was doing to their intestines or something like that because the magnets would they would eat several of them and they would get lodged in various areas inside their bodies. Oh, sounds terrible. So I don't want that to happen. Voila, lunch is done. your best friend's name. Oh, her ended on Z. Her best friend is Zoe. Zoe? Oh, your sister's your best friend. Who's your best friend? Yours ended on? No, my name's on G, so I don't know. Yours ended on G? Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to peel these kids an apple. You guys, comment down below and let me know if you guys just like to eat your apple like this or if you like to core it. Mm -hmm. I like corn. I, I don't know. You didn't know corn. until I corn. Until I feel like corn.
guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>